Rowena and this is my camera shy husband Kirk and this is my channel A Fuller World. We've spent the last month travelling around New Zealand in our camper van Vandal for our honeymoon and we've had such an amazing time we wanted to share it. So without further ado, here's our New Zealand series, Honeymoon New Zealand. Morning. We are back in the van and headed back south. So this morning we've just got a short drive down to Taupo, only about an hour. Um, and that's about it. So it should be a cruisy morning. to Taupo and we've come straight down to have a look at the Haka Falls which is this tumultuous sort of waterfall behind me it's spewing out so much water um, but the reason we thought we'd come check it out is because we are about to jump in a jet boat and we've our way down the river right up into the falls I think it's gonna be really fun by Mercury Energy as part of the Mighty River Hydroelectric Scheme. They've got every dam between here and Port Waikato open, yeah, creating electricity. Mighty step as you jump out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, that was so fun. Ten out of ten would recommend. <laughs> So that was it, just a short stay in Taupo. We ended up going to these beautiful natural silica hot springs last night, which was just really relaxing. Um, but this morning it is cold. We are both a little frozen and we've got a long drive ahead of us. So we are heading down to New Zealand's capital, Wellington, which is about five hours away. And with a couple of stops, we think it'll probably take us closer to six. So we're in for a bit of a long drive, just filling up the tank now and um, that's pretty much it. I think we better get started because we've got a long drive ahead of us. Mm -hmm. 
so at the moment we're just driving around Lake Taupo which is just actually really beautiful. Um, yesterday when we got to Taupo I sort of said oh this looks like a really nice lake to run around and obviously I hadn't done my research because we were in this little sort of like outpouching of the lake and I looked up how long it takes to run around the lake and there's um, events that range from 100k to 160k so I thought maybe not running this one. Um, but the good news is for us that we get to spend a lot of this drive sort of hugging the lake and it's such a beautiful morning so it's just going to make for a really really nice drive. So we've got into Wellington pretty late in the Arvo, so we're not going to have a huge amount of time here in the city, but we thought we'd just go and have a little bit of an explore around. It's a beautiful sunny day and see what we can find. So once upon a time I used to work at a chocolate shop and we used to stock this beautiful chocolate made from the Wellington Chocolate Factory. Um, so when I found it that they had their store here and that they made the chocolate on site, I definitely wanted to pop in. They make such good chocolate and such good hot chocolate. So I'm glad we managed to find them just before they close and um, we're going to pop in and grab some chocolate and a drink. So good you step inside and the whole place smells like chocolate this has to be one of the best hot chocolates I've ever had absolutely recommend this place so we also popped into the Te Papa um, Museum here in Wellington off the recommendation of a friend of mine um, because they currently have this Gallipoli exhibit going and that's right up Kirk's Alley um, but actually it was really really cool they had all these sort of art pieces that were installed along the way and the art pieces were so realistic like you know larger than life but little beads of sweat hairs on people's arms um, it was a really cool way to sort of actually walk through the timeline of Gallipoli um, so I would recommend actually popping in it's free um, that was a really really cool thing to just uh, pass a bit of time here so that pretty much calls our time on Wellington. Um, it was just a really short stay, but we did manage to have a really, really nice dinner at a place called Dragonfly. So if you're in the um, city, I do recommend having dinner there. It's kind of like Asian fusion and every single dish we had was just really, really good. Um, but that pretty much calls our time not only on Wellington, but on the North Island. So bright and early tomorrow, we are jumping on a ferry and we're heading down south and we cannot wait to see the South Island. We've heard it's spectacular. So uh, we'll call it a night and we'll see you on the ferry in the morning. <laughs>